Hi, budget friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am so excited to share with you an update to my net worth tracker. If you're into personal finance, Excel, or just organizing your life, you are going to love this update. I've taken my monthly net worth tracker and turned it into a simple but powerful yearly tracker, making it even more efficient and insightful for big picture planning, and it updates automatically. I'm excited to show you how it works. So first, a little background. I've been tracking my net worth month by month for a while now. I share this tracker with you and have gotten a great response. And I've had requests to take this tracker and zoom out to get a clearer financial picture over the course of a year. That's when the idea of a yearly tracker came about. So thank you all for your suggestions. I appreciate your input. Behind the scenes, I was already manually tracking my yearly progress, which now seems silly, but the format worked because it allowed me to track trends more easily. Plus, it was simple to follow. So I took that format and created a year overview dashboard that links all 12 months into one clean visual. Now I can instantly see my total net worth progress for the year, track trends, and understand how my assets and liabilities are shifting over time, all in one place, and no need to manually make adjustments anymore. Here's how to use your yearly net worth tracker. First, there is the Setup tab. There's a Year Overview tab, and then all of the months of the year, color-coded by quarter, have their own tabs. If you start with the Setup tab, there are instructions on how to set up your yearly net worth tracker. It's pretty simple and straightforward, though. First. In this column, you're gonna enter all of your account names. The account names only need to be entered in this column once. And as you'll see, I've entered these two here and they're showing up here for all of my months. Back to the Setup tab, you can enter up to 24 accounts. Next, you're going to want to use the drop-down menu for the account types. So for each of the accounts, you're going to want to use one of these eight different account types. This step is really important because all of your account types are going to be associated with assets or liabilities, and this will automatically populate as you enter your balances. So you have to make sure that all of your account and account types are entered correctly. So for example, for mom checking, that's gonna be associated with cash. For Visa card, that's not gonna be savings, that's going to be under debts. So for each account, you're going to want to associate it with the correct account type. There are, as I mentioned, eight different account types. Cash, savings, investments, and property. Those are all your assets. And for your liabilities, you're going to have loans, debts, taxes, and collections. Make sure you don't type in custom categories because that'll break the links in the formulas. Once all of this is filled out, 
it's automatically going to be populated, as you can see here. Mom checking is now cash, and Visa card is now debts. All right, so you can see here that I have updated all of my accounts and my account types. Now let's walk through some of our key features. First, we'll start with the monthly tabs. So here in January, you can see that I filled out my account balances. Everything under account and account type was populated from the setup. Once I entered all of my balances in, it automatically updated all of my categories, my assets, my liabilities, and my total net worth. I entered for January, February, March, April, and May. You can see June has not been entered yet. So we still have all of my account names and my account types but my balances have not been entered yet. And you can see here, all of the categories have been left as zero. If I were to enter some information, it is going to automatically update. So let's try and enter something under cash. You can see here using conditional formatting, it updates with the color green, those are positive numbers, and red, those are negative numbers. Everything automatically populates and totals out for you. So I'm gonna zero these out so there's no confusion later. So now we're gonna look at the year overview tab. You can see here that the year overview tab has been populated and I didn't enter anything onto this tab. The only things that I entered were my initial setup, these two columns, and each of the balances for each of the months up until May. And here you can see in my year overview tab, my asset categories have all been entered and this darker green line is the total of all of my assets. In here, these red categories, those are my liabilities. And here in a darker red, those are all of my liability totals. And they're broken down by month. So it's a very easy overview, month to month, so you can do a comparison. Then down here in blue is my total net worth each month. These bar graphs correlate to all of the information that was put in here and they're color coded the same way. So here, this bar graph is for my total net worth. It's a year at a glance. And you can see the totals are entered here and they fluctuate slightly up and down as the year progresses. Here, this is showing my assets in green. My assets are going down and then back up. And here with my liabilities, I'm having a little bit of a struggle this year. So originally my liabilities were going down, but I took on a little bit more debt. So they've gone back up. These bar graphs are really great to see the progress throughout the year. So you can see at a glance how your net worth, assets and liabilities are doing. And here are two progress trackers. This one is from your starting month to your current month. And this one will show from the previous month to the current month. And here's the best part. If you're starting mid-year, the dashboard still works. The progress calculations adjust based on the months you've entered. So no need to backfill unless you want to. If you have Excel and want to start tracking your own net worth, I've got you covered. This exact tracker is available in my Etsy shop, ready to go. No need to build anything from scratch. I've already done it for you. 
just open the file, set up your accounts, start entering your account balances month by month, and the dashboard will magically do the rest. It's perfect if you want something clean, automated, and easy to use, whether you're just starting or already deep into your financial journey. It's perfect. You'll find a link to my Etsy shop in the description below. Grab your tracker and start watching your net worth grow month after month. And there you have it, my updated yearly net worth tracker in Excel. Let me know in the comments how you track your net worth. Until next time, happy tracking. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you soon. Bye.